Hi, welcome to Rams Android Tutorials. So in this video, we'll continue the uh, the concept what we have started in the previous video that is introduction to Android. In previous video, we have discussed right, who started this Android development, the history and about the versions and uh, about the types of mobile applications. Now in this video, we will see what are the reasons to become Android very successful in the market. We'll see some reasons now. Now. Uh, already you know that uh, you will get some more information in this website called developer.android.com and you will see the reasons here so uh, the very first reason we need to understand why Android became very popular in the market is open source okay Be this is the one biggest reason why uh, Android became very successful in the market we can see now and you need to understand that Android is having 85% market, uh, 85 percentage plus market share out of 100% and daily more than 10 lakhs Android mobiles are activating around the world. Maybe we have a more number than that and we can check out the information in this website developer.android.com. So coming to the uh, reasons, I told you already open source is the biggest reason why Android became very popular in the market. Like that, uh, if we discuss there are there are a lot of reasons. Uh, to become Android successful in the market. Now, the biggest reason is open source. Coming to the open source, you will see open source to, we are having different levels here. Now, open source to mobile, you can say mobile manufacturers. Mobile manufacturers in the sense you will see, except uh, iPhone and uh, Blackberry, uh, these two company mobiles are not coming with the Android operating system. But around the world, in all remaining all except two iPhone and uh, Blackberry remaining all mobile companies are coming with Android operating system they are releasing their mobiles with a uh, Android operating system there is a uh, because of the open source why because these companies are not having any headache to develop new operating system for their smartphones and raising releasing into the market uh, simple if you discuss like if one company has uh, started to develop their own operating system for their smartphones and they release into the market and after releasing into the market then only they can understand whether their operating system is getting popular or failed in the market if it is getting popular okay or if it is getting failed you need to understand about the company losses that here here only the companies are having the advantage so every mobile company they are going to get this Android versions from the internet free of cost they need not to pay any amount to the Google no? that's why you say that it's a open source open source to the mobile manufacturers so the operating system already popular so uh, every time google is going to uh, release the updates uh, that means the uh, latest version so that uh, these mobile companies need not to pay anything for the dev development and after that it's already popular so they need not to bother about the operating system only the thing they need to take care of about uh, their devices configuration how the device looks like and the configuration what they are going to keep in the devices and uh, one more thing is they are not responsible for the applications right so we have a play store here around the world developers are developing applications and they are uploading the applications to the play store so that if you purchase uh, any company mobile we are not asking the company for the application suppose if you purchase any mobile uh, like samsung mobile we are not asking the samsung for the mobile applications why because in the play store the applications are available there is one more advantage for the mobile manufacturers so like that we can discuss the so many examples and next is open source to the developers is one more biggest reason why android became very popular so here uh, why developers are choosing android than any other operating system to develop mobile applications in the sense because of uh, it's a open source first of all that means to develop these Android applications, we need tools plus SDK. These tools plus SDK, we can download from the developer.android.com free of cost. Every time they are going to release the latest SDK, so we can update our existing tools and we can start the development. And in this Android SDK development, we are going to use the language called Java language. There is one more reason. Why? Because it is very easy to adapt the Java. So around the world, maximum the people who are into the uh, programming field they are going to start with the Java so it's very easy to adapt the Android application development there is one more reason now so develop easily uh, they can install the software in any operating system and they can start the development they are going to get the SDK from the internet 
free of cost. That's why nowadays we have a huge developer community for Android application development. And after that, uh, after when, when uh, after dev uh, developers developing applications, they can upload the applications into the Play Store. So we are having the free applications and paid applications. Free applications in the sense we are going to publish the ads in our applications through that we are earning the money. Paid applications in the sense we can get directly uh, the money from the Play Store. So the Play Store, uh, the Google is going to take the uh, amount from the uh, users and they are going to transfer to the developer accounts. So this is the process is going on. So like that, uh, this is the open source reason and people are feeling the standard is very user friendly. That's why you will see in most of the people hands we can see the Android devices and in the companies nowadays maximum every development company any every software company they are having a separate stream like a mobile application development so in all MNCs we have a mobile application development again in so many uh, n number of hundreds and thousands of uh, small companies are there around the world uh, who are developing these mobile applications both in Android and uh, iPhone applications iPhone applications and next and one more important thing is nowadays, all, till now we have so many websites. So all websites are trying to convert as a mobile applications. Already so many websites are converted as a mobile applications. And uh, what are the new websites are developing? So they are going to have again mobile version and uh, uh, the same time web version. So they are going to develop uh, separate mobile applications and separate websites. So that uh, day by day the mobile development here is growing. So that who are learning this standard application development. So you are going to have a good opportunities in the industry or otherwise if you not think about the industry you can develop your own applications that is that is pretty much about this introduction so in the next video we are going to start android installation setup thank you for watching if you like my videos you can subscribe my channel and you have my blog called ramsandroidforall.blogspot.in so here you will get a lot of concepts about android the code videos and the applications here you have a Android tutorial application and you can contact me for Android online training. Thank you for watching. We will meet in the next video.